Hi, I'm Janice Stewart. I'm one of the owners of Castle Keepers. And what we're going to do today is not exactly scientific, but we we're going to divide up our toilet seat into three sections and test three different types of cleaning um, procedures. And we will then test it with an ATP meter, adenosine triphosphate meter. And it's a really good way to establish a baseline for clean and how clean something gets and how clean we can get something. And um, then we will kind of discuss the three ways we cleaned and determine which one is the best. And so we'll go ahead and start with testing our toilet. What I've done is divided it into three sections. I've done it um, kind of up here on the lid. This section we're going to clean with a chemical disinfectant and a cotton cleaner, cotton cloth. This one we're going to do with our dry steam vapor. I chose this because it is the dirtiest part of the toilet and I have a lot of confidence in our dry steam vapor cleaner. And over here we have, we're going to do with our chemical and our cotton cloth. So let's go ahead and test each section to establish a baseline. So this is our little ATP swab. I'm going to get a four inch section. I'm turning the swab as I go. Ooh. And um, I'll turn on my ATP meter. And while I'm waiting for that, I'll put this back in. I'll break my bowl and squirt the water down into it. Shake this. So I'm putting number one in. And pressing OK. Countdown for 15. Six hundred and ninety six, which is in the dirty range. <laughs> Traditionally, the dirtiest part of the toilet. which is why in a lot of um, public bathrooms you see that, that they don't have a, they have a horseshoe shaped toilet seat instead of a full toilet seat. Okay, so I will squeeze all that down, shake, for five seconds. And let's test this one. This is where we're going to do our chemical and our microfiber.
983. That's definitely in close to the filthy range. <laughs> Let's try our cleaning products now. Cotton, chemical and cotton. So what we need, what the instructions on your disinfectants tell you to do is to clean the area of any solid dirt, solid grime, and then put your disinfectant on it and let the disinfectant kill the germs because the disinfectant will not kill germs if there are s particulates on the surface that will interfere with the killing those germs. So we will spray. And I will use one, the first cloth I have, to wipe all the germs off. And then we will spray again and let it dwell, which is what it's called, dwell time. This goes over here. And we need to let it dwell for 10 minutes. This, I'm using our microfiber, so you have your chemical on the toilet seat. I'm going to clean it. And now I'm going to let it dwell. Third procedure and that we are going to test is our ladybug steam vapor machine and it has um, two tanks it has one tank that's the boiler one tank that's a reservoir and between those two tanks they has a little tube running through a metal tube that actually adds disinfectant properties to the team to the steam it takes the minerals in tap water and it splits them so that they kind of look like giant um, spiky uh, gumballs <laughs> and, it's, um, and that's what does the disinfecting because it actually punctures the cell membrane of the bacteria and allows us to wipe it away. It's especially useful with biofilms but um, and I'm sure we don't have any biofilms on the seat, you would more likely find that inside the toilet that's not cleaned. And seven seconds will kill 99.9% .9 of all bacteria that it comes in contact with.